we're much more excited about the fact that you're on the cover of the Woman's Day this week in a wedding gown. I'm assuming it's not the wedding gown you'll be wearing. Oh, that, that was last week, I beg I your think. pardon, yeah, last yeah. week. Yes. Well, every, every oh, well, groom knows the gown what, changes tell, by the week. I'll tell you a story about that cover. In fact, that, uh, that white frock that I had on was a, uh, a photo I had taken about four or five years ago, and, and it was a red dress at the time I was oh. wearing it. And so the cheeky buggers uh, coloured it and made out as though I'd given them an exclusive interview about weight loss and how amazing my body was, which is something that I would never say. So you didn't so, even uh, give this interview? I spoke to them about health and fitness, you know, which is which wow. is something I've always done, but I've never kind of stood up and spoken about diets because I'm not that kind because of girl, you know. the front page says, Kate Ritchie, my wedding diet, how I got my best body ever. And that's none of that's your words or your direction. No. Wow. Absolutely not. <laughs> I cannot believe that, Kate. That is so cheeky. Because we thought you yep. must be doing that story to pay for the wedding or something. No, well, you know what? Didn't didn't make a sense, and kind of ne- never have, never never sold a story. So it is a bit, it is a bit cheeky, and um, yeah, I, I hope nobody kind of bought it thinking they were going to get some amazing well, weight loss diet because I've never, I've never, never been on a diet to do that, and I'm certainly not on a diet now to fit into a white frock. You're too lovely. That's not cheeky. That's disgusting. I reckon mm. that's really <laughs> unfair. And they're cashing in and selling magazines and making big dollars off something that you did six years ago, and they're lying to us about it. Yeah, well, well I guess so.